Hello friends and welcome to Knowledge by Nature. In today's video, we're going to be bringing you along with a lesson in Primary Mathematics 1B. We are nearing the end of Primary Mathematics 1B and so I thought since we've really used it for a while, I could give you a good look of what do a lesson looks like with us. So if you are interested in that, I ask that you stick around. All right, welcome or welcome back. If this is your first time here, I am a homeschool mom to a second grader. We love all things books, homeschool, and sharing our journey with you. And if that is something that you're interested in, I would love if you hit that subscribe button. Now I did mention that we are second grade and you will notice that we are on 1B. That's because we switched curriculums a lot in first grade and just kept trying to make math work for us and so it was late in the year when we got started with this so we worked on it a little bit during the summer and then we're finishing it out here we will be done within our first month of homeschooling of second grade so i'm not too put out by the fact that we're still like finishing up some 1b things in second grade. That's not a big deal to me. We're going to be fine. So I have the home instructor's guide. We have the workbook. We have the textbook. I also will be using this set today to represent our numbers. Usually we will use our math link cubes, but for second grade, we are going to be using the new primary mathematics 2022. If you want to see a flip through of that, I will put that right here so you can go and check that out after this video. It recommends having these and so math manipulatives are fun at the beginning and so we went ahead and brought this out to start using it and symbolizing how we will be representing our numbers with these. As always, I have my handy dandy whiteboard and marker. And I also have my playing cards because in the back of my lesson for today, it recommended that we have a reinforcement game. We actually played one of these games the other day when we were practicing our addition, and that was on my Instagram page. That's really fun. If you're not following us on there, I'll put that right here. So let's get started. Are you ready? All right. She shook her head. Here we go. All right, so yesterday we brought in where we were going to start subtracting numbers to 100, right? Well, we're going to continue on with that today, except we are going to be renaming some. So what that means is there's going to be, maybe sometimes we can't take everything from the 10. So first, let's start with 70 minus 5, okay? Let's also use these. Okay, so how many tens do I have? Seven. Okay, so three, four, five, six, seven, right? And I always lay them just like this, where you do not see the bottom of them. Okay, so you're going to get out 70. All right, it says 70 minus 5. Can you take 5 from 70? No. No? Well, it's going to be hard to because they're melted together. Okay, so maybe we should unmelt one? Is that what you're thinking? Yeah. Okay. So we're going we, to clear ourselves. We don't have any 1s here, right? So we're going to have to take from a 10. So you're going to give me one of these tens, and I'm going to give you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay? This Go ahead and line those up. This is a fun trade. <laughs> mm -hmm. Fun trade. I gave you my ten for ten ones. That's right. So that's a fair trade. It is a fair trade. So what we're doing here is we are taking some of our tens and we're going to split them aren't we All right so we have the number 70 and we traded out one of our tens so i put it over here what would the other set be over here that we've made that 70? would be six okay six tens so that would be 60 right mm -hmm. okay so we broke it out into a 60 and a 10. Mm -hmm. now if we take 10 minus 5 what do we get 
but you just split this in half here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, wait, here. You know how many is in a stick. What is 10 minus 5? 10 minus 5 is 5. That's right. So take 5 away from 70. So I take that. Okay. So what do you have re remaining now? Um, 65. 65, that's right. Because, whoops. I got more things to trade. Because you have six tens and five ones, right? Yep. We know that 10 minus five equals five. We have six tens left over. So our answer is 65. All right, now let's try another one. Now we're gonna look at 73 minus five, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and we're going to get 73 back again. So make yourself 73 with the little blocks. All right, good job. So we've made 73. Now if we break this out into a number bond, we would have 70, and we would have three, right? Mm -hmm. Now, can we take five from three? No. No, no, we can't do that, can we? So what are we gonna have to do? We're, we're gonna have to mount one of my tens. Okay, so you are gonna have to take, you're gonna have to take one of your tens into play, right? Mm -hmm. So. Can you mount this? Yes, thank you. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna melt one of these and we're going to get 10, right? Two, four, six, eight, 10, all right? Now, what you've done is you have how many 10s? One, two, two three, three, four, five, four, five six. six, okay? So we have six 10s, which is 60. How many ones do you have? Two. There you go. Now, what we're going to do is we have to figure out 13 minus 5 equals what? Okay, so we'll have to split the 10, so that's 8. So, um, my, my 10 here, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, Here's our 10. We have to take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Wait. There should be another 5. Here we go. And now it's 8. You can take Okay. This. So 13 minus 5 equals 8. Right? Mm -hmm. So now. What do you have left? I got, um, 68. 68, very good. So you can take one of your tens, break it into ones, so that you can do 13 minus five. All right, this time we're going to do 92 minus seven. All right, let's make 92. You're gonna need some more tens, I think, aren't you? How many tens do you need? Two. Okay. Which one? How many ones do you need? Two. Okay, very good. So again, we're gonna do it with the number bonds, okay? Mm -hmm. So we have the, the cubes here. Mm -hmm. We're gonna, can we take seven away from this two? No. No. So what are we gonna need to do? Okay. Um, please melt one of my tens. Okay. So we're gonna make this. We have eight tens now, right? So give me this one. And then you're gonna have two, four, six, eight, ten. Now, how many ones have you made? 12. 12. All right. So 12 minus 7 equals what? 12 minus 7 
So let me find a seven in here. One, two, four. Sevens are odd. Mm -hmm. Two, four, six. Two, four, five, six, seven. Okay. I want to know what what is twelve minus seven. Is five. Okay. Five. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you did that. So now what do you have left? Eighty-five. Eighty-five. So ninety-two minus seven equals eighty-five. Very good job. All right, so we have ninety-two minus seven. So you broke it out into eighty and twelve, right? Mm -hmm. But what if you don't know what 12 minus 7 is. What if you can't, you don't have the blocks and you have to figure it out? Can we do a number bond to figure that out? Yes. Okay, so we could take 12 minus 7 and then we could break this out, right? Mm -hmm. So that would be a 10 and a 2. Mm -hmm. Can we take 7 from 2? No. Can we take 7 from 10? Yes. What would that be? 3. Okay. And then that would be, you have a two left, so what would that be? A two left, so that would be five. Very good. So now you know that 12 minus seven equals five. So you figured this one out, haven't you? Mm -hmm. So then you would know that you have an 80 and a five, yep. which is? All right, now we're gonna go to the textbook and we're gonna look at some of the things that the students are doing, okay? All right, let's look over here at these children. It says 82 minus six. So let's do one, or 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, two. Okay, so let's put two. 82. Now it says let's subtract six. For the remainder of this lesson, we are actually gonna switch these out and go back to our linking cubes. I love these. Um, this is what we have used from kindergarten all the way, and it is just so nice to actually be able to physically take it away from your tin. Or just add to, it to your tin. Or add it to your tin, that's right. These new pieces that we have are great for representing how many tens and ones, and they are going to be wonderful. But for right now, we're gonna go back to using these, which is actually what they talk about in this one anyways. So we're gonna go here and we're gonna make 82, okay? 80 and two, right? Mm -hmm. So we have our 82 right here, like our little word book. When you are doing the primary math, you are doing this section of the textbook together. So you are working together. They don't get their independent work until the workbook. So this is just kind of additional practice to really make sure that we know what we were discussing at the beginning. So that's why we are still continuing to work together because this is the textbook. So we have 82 minus six. Okay, we're gonna move these tens over mm -hmm. like we see right here, right? How many tens do we now have sitting over here? Seven. Seven tens, which is 70. Mm -hmm. Now you are going to take six away from your 12, right? Mm -hmm. Now take six away and what do you have left? Six. six. Very six. good. So you have seven and six. What is the answer? Seven and six is 76. 76, so 82 minus six is 76. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go to our next one. What number do we need to make? 50. 53. Okay, make 53. 53 minus six. Can you take six from a three? No. Nope, you can't. Can but you, you can take six from a six. You can take six from a six, but we're gonna take it from a 10, right? Mm -hmm. So we're going to take four tens and put them over to the side. Then we're gonna take our 13 
and minus 6. 13. Okay. Now you take the 6 from the 13, and what do you end up with? It's one more, so it's 7. 7. Very good. So it's 57. Fif no, it's 47. 47, right. Very good. So yes, you have a 40 and a 7 left, and it is 47. All right, our last one here says 85 minus 9 equals what? Let's make 85. Sorry. All right, 85 minus 9. What are you going to do? How are we going to figure this out? Hmm. Okay, so, well, so we got um, 15 over here. Okay. And um, wants us to take away not one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that is six. So what do you have left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seventy-six. Seventy-six. Very good. So you take the nine from the ten, mm -hmm. which means that we only have one left, right? Yep. And then we add it with our other ones, which gives us six. And so we have seventy-six. Very good. Yep. All right. To finish out the chapter, it has the reinforcement of using the deck of cards and this time we're gonna be using it for subtraction versus addition. We are definitely going to be doing this just because subtraction is not picking up quite as quickly as addition is, so we are going to do that. It says to use mental math 23 to 24, which is back here in the back of my book. We will practice working on some of those, and then she will have a few workbook pages. Actually, maybe just one here, let's look. For her independent work, she will have one exercise here where she will do these questions and these questions, and that will be the completion of our lesson. So everything that you saw was part of one lesson with primary math, where we practiced, we did the textbook practice together, and we are going to do some more reinforcements. So you can add on to it if you need to. You can just do the basic part here if that is where you're at. If your student already knows exactly kind of what you're already talking about, you can cover it quickly, do your workbook pages, and be done. So we are going to go ahead and finish up with some of the reinforcement games, and then she will do her workbook page. So I hope this was helpful for you. I definitely do enjoy using the linking cubes for primary mathematics. That is what they asked for for the majority of this, and we just like being able to physically break them apart. This is a really, really good set, though. I do like this, and I like that it all fits really nicely back in here. It came with its own little container. I got this off of Amazon. If I can remember, I'll link it down below. That way, if you're interested in it, you can pick this one up because, like I said, I liked that it was very small, but yet all fit in here nicely, and it was a pretty good price also. So if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and be sure and check out the link below if you want to see what our next math is going to be, and we will definitely be doing a do a lesson on that one too. So again, thank you so much, and we'll see you in our next one. Bye!